Hello guys, what is up? Is E Rahul here bringing guys another episode of the NBA 2K21 uh National Service franchise and this is game four of the NBA playoffs the, the, for the second round at least three games to zero. So if you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Also, another thing I'll I'll say, um, the support on this channel has been great. Um, if you want to subscribe, please do. I do want to say this, like, everything, this channel means a lot to me. And if you guys do want to be a part of this journey, please do by clicking on the subscribe button. Because, again, that would be mean the world to me. Of course, this is televised by NBA 2K Sports. <laughs> I didn't know why I had to say that. But, like... Like, it's very important that we win this game. Because I want to try a 3-0 comeback. And 3-0 comebacks are very are It makes the... Uh, once you do a 3-0 comeback, it makes the other team really stupid. So... And... Yeah, there's... Chicago Bulls are... I don't understand the Chicago Bulls that much. Like, they have Zach Levine, Lowry Morkinen. They have those guys, and it's pretty sickening where it's like that. And Alfred Law is starting over Markel Fultz this game. And it's very surprising that I made this move anyway. And Alfred Law is already committing a foul. Sweet! Um. Um. It's very important that everybody understands that, like. I hope that. Um. That we still, like. If I'm still able to do this series, I'll do it. Now, next season, I'll, I'm definitely gonna, like, to make the, the episodes, like, more fun and, like, more interesting. Well, not interesting. The season, a little bit interesting. I'm gonna be putting in more games. Again, I want to do experiments. So that way, we can actually have a proper, like, fun series rather than, like, doing the casual because, like... I'm a innovation and season five playoffs stuff like that. So like, yeah, that's just what I want. Zach Levine is averaging thirty two point two points per game. I bet one of our guys are even. It's like averaging that m many points, and Dante Daniels just like got blocked by Lowry Markinen. And Alfred Law didn't even make his shot, so. Um, okay. And Diaz does not make that three. Alfred Law gets his own rebound and gets fouled by Lowry Markinen for the six. So, this is what usually happens during these games. The, the other team gets, like, somewhat of a lead, and then they just, like, continue to like grow like at a faster pace like a faster like we managed to have a lead at like some ridiculous leads at like some certain point and Finney Smith is on the Chicago Bulls out of all teams <laughs> And Steve and Steve 
Rose didn't even make his layup. Call forward to a little bit. It's 25 to 10. And 100% on free throws for both teams. And a grab ball out by Willie, ba Willie Bailey. And Stephen Rose actually has his takeover activated. Which I didn't realize. Like, I've, no uh, I've noticed in games before that y you can have your takeover activated. Like, a player could have his takeover activated when somebody else is doing something. And, oh my god. I noticed that Willie Bailey has a brother, I think. I don't even know. He has some kind of, kind of, like, some, like, duplicate. I don't know. I don't even know if he has a brother. And Sheldon Hopkins and Willie Bailey also have their takeovers activated. Willie Bailey has glass cleaner, which means he can, like, if he knows if a, if a rebound is coming, he will, like, get the rebound if he can. If he doesn't, then the shot is made, essentially. Bogdan Bogdanovich is there. I, yeah, trying 9 to 12. So, my. <sighs> When it comes to blocking, and I've seen this one YouTuber do this, his name is QJB. What he does is that he would bait the guy out when it comes to the paint, and he just runs over there and just like, says, GET THE <laughs> no, no, not in my house. Or he says, like, for grab blocks, like, GIVE ME THAT! Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's what, like, like, I don't know. Should I start saying that? I don't know, but, <laughs> Steven, Steve Rhodes actually, actually blocked that shot, but then it was made. Sheldon Hopkins dunked that. 31 to 14. We already have a massive leaf. We're just growing it all. Over and over and over and over. And Longley. Longley. Oh god. Just blocked it. Made that shot. And there is the flagrant foul. I'm saying that sarcastically. I'm like infuriated with commentating this. So, what happens is, is that if you commit one flagrant foul, you got two free throws, and that's it. And I passed it to Dante Daniels. Mac Harvey has the ball. Passes to Markel. He gets fouled. Bogdan Bogdanovich commits the foul. And Mark Helpful's greens lights it. So it's a essentially this is a seven point play if you think about it. And Derek Rose. Uh good job, Derek Rose. Um You fouled on your on trying to steal a ball. Are you kidding me? Yes, yes. So Markel with the ball. He tries to shoot a three, and it works. So, I know Al Alfred Law, Dante Daniels, Sheldon Hopkins can shoot threes, but so can Marka Fultz. Marka Fultz gets the ball. He makes the shot. 41 to 16. That's an actual legitimate score, and Kimba... Is doing his moves. Yeet! So I go with the tall lineup. And oh my word. It's the same lineup. As any other lineup would be. So I give it. I try to shoot a three. Does not work. Willy really. Uh, has. Uh. Uh, like, Alfred Law fouls him. Longley. 
Oh my word. Dante Daniels. Alfred Law. Really, he does not make it. Steals it. Gives it to Dante Daniels. Makes a shot. That's all good. Alright. Yeah. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. Anyway. Alfred Law has the ball. He's trying to make sure he gets a three. He makes it. And most of the players are ice cold. Because he has heart. Willie Bailey has cr heart crusher. And. And Larry Morgan and does a fade away. So his ice cold. He's not ice cold anymore. Alfred Law has the ball. He does a beautiful re reverse layup. He currently has 20 points. Hard, hot start tonight. Really? Is that really a hot start? Now, but if I'm ever going to do 12 minutes, probably be in the 7th, 8th, or even ninth season. So, in order to break... Okay, I'm going to have to say this. In order to break the... M most championships in like a single season okay hypothetically i would have to start from season five which is now currently we're in the playoffs and win every se a single championship so eight championships in a row so that would be season 13 and then season 14 i would have to win the 10th championship as we cover here we it's 63 to 38 anyway going back to my main point if we ha if i want to do the series to break the boston celtics record we would have to literally and i mean this literally have to play for another nine seasons in order to break the record now, I know what you may be thinking. Bro, why would you play another nine seasons? Okay, first of all, I want to break records. I want to do stuff I haven't done before. But also, two, I want to put the Nashville Stars as a contender for future NBA championships. Also, to show the other expansion teams that came into the league like, hey, well, the same San Diego Surf specifically, like, A, you're not the only team that you can contend with in the NBA playoffs. <sighs> the thing is for the San Diego Surf is that they were able to contend, I have to think about this, in season number two of the series. They were able to contend for that long. And Mac Harvey blocked. And, and he turned it over. 67 to 42. 1 minute and 57 seconds left on the clock. You know, this series has been going well. It's been going insane. Thing is, is this. Even though this series has been going on for so long, and a loose ball happens, Zach Levine, which does not equate to this. As you can see right here, Derrick Rose fouls again. Now the bonus is actually in place. Boom. 67 to 44. Wow. Yeah. Um. Of 
Glover tries to make that shot. That doesn't work. Oh my god, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Bam! Mark Helfoltz did that. And he makes another shot. 69 to 44. Um, been doing really well. And now, <laughs> all we have to do is make sure that we do this. Diaz banks two free throws. Dante Daniels has the ball. Double teamed. Gives it to Sheldon Hopkins. Dunks it. And look at the field goal percentage. We have better field goal percentage. Which doesn't make any sense. Whatsoever. Steven Rhodes. Blocks. Man. Long lay, commits a foul, we get a bonus, we miss a free throw, 7 points, 3 blocks. Bogdan Bogdanovich makes it, doesn't actually make it. Alfred Law goes in, boom! Gets foul, Longley commits the foul again. That's his third foul. 72 to 46. First three throw is not made. The second one's up. It's made, thankfully. I don't have to be mad. Fouls committed by Dante Daniels on Bogdan Bontanovich. First three free throws up, it's good. Now the second one's up, that he misses. Alright. Yes! Willie Bailey, yes! 10 10 10. Hey. Yeah. And a triple double. So now. We go to the halftime show, of course. And this is a kind of awkward. And they actually have the halftime show at the location of the playoffs. In the arena, United Center. Hmm. So, it's been a crazy ride. So far, we're going to the conference finals. Hopefully, like, thankfully, we're going to go to the conference finals after this game. There is the uh, finals. Uh, there is no question about it because we single-handedly, like, kind of, like, outplayed the... Let's see. We outplayed the Atlanta Hawks in the first round, then... The Chicago Bulls in the second. We either are going to face the 76ers. Or we're going to face the, the Toronto Raptors. Which is the, who are the fifth seed. Now if we take them on. Oh my word. That's going to be a lot of fun. So... That will be a lot, and I'm, I mean this. So, um.
So, Zach Levine has nine points so far. That's not good. It's the third quarter, 77 to 49. We go back. Zach Levine. Tried to block. They will work. Alfred Law. Gets, it gives it to Sheldon Hopkins. The points are made. And we have been doing good on defense, getting rebounds, making sure. Now offensive rebounds. That doesn't usually happen. We get defensive. Vinny Smith on Sheldon Hopkins. Zach will he does not make that three-pointer, which is supposed to be a good one. Dante Daniels makes the layup. 81 to 49, which is impressive. Check me out. Oh, Felder dunks it. Backward dunks it. Could you do a backwards dunk? Yeah, you could. Alfred Law makes another shot once again. 25 points so far. Poked the ball out out of Zach Levine with Dante Daniels. Now Finney Smith tries to make a three. Does not work. I almost lost the ball. Didn't it happen? Bogdan Bondanovich tries to do a hook shot. Doesn't work. Felder makes the layup. 98 to 72. We skip forward a little bit. Keep the game interesting. Marco Fultz makes the shot. 16 points. 100 to 72. 100 to 72. Yep. Um, and now it's 174, 102, 74. Derrick Rose is in the game. I'm trying to get score a score with Derrick Rose. I just lost the ball. Oh my god. Then I tried to block. That didn't work at all once. <coughs> as well. So. Uh, Kimball Walker. To Snow. I got blocked. By Felder. Now, no, actually, long lay. Yep, no. So fouled. And Felder makes his first free throw, and the second one is up, and he makes the second one. 178. And, yeah. It's been a long time. Yep. Jenna Sheldon Hopkins on Bogdan Bondanovich. Then, yeah, Stephen Rhodes gets the rebound. And Alfred Law is injured on his arm. And that's concerning. Alfred Law got injured with his hand. And if you remember a few seasons ago, Derrick Rose had the same exact injury in a game. Now he's on the bench. We had to call timeout because of it. So... Mark L. Fultz is in. I wanted Derrick Rose. However, this, would ha this will have to do. Um, so now, Alfred Law is not our sixth man. Kimball... Kemba is now technically our sixth man. And by the way, Alfred Law was starting to this game because I wanted him. I wanted him to, but it didn't happen. And Willie Bailey lost the ball. Turnovers are always going to be a problem. Of course. 
Long Lay. Um, that's the Diaz and he dunks it. 102 to 80. Lily Bailey has the ball. Dunks it ferociously. 104 to 80. 14 seconds left on the clock. Now, this long way went out of bounds. And <laughs> 7.1 seconds left of the clock. And that happened. And that happened. 0. 0.77 seconds on the clock. 106 to 80. 26 point differential. And that's Mac Harvey blocking. And this is a crazy thing to do. This has been crazy. It's always crazy. Marco Fultz banks in the shot. So now we have two backups. Which I really... I don't like those backups. Because they're not like rookie backups. As you see, Willie Bailey uh, blocks a dude. Now he's going to dunk it. And yeah. This has been impressive. I tried to block Bobby Portis. Did not work. Um, right here I made the shot. Bobby Portis commits a showing showing a shooting foul I make the shot with Willie Bailey and hmm I tried to bait body Bobby Bobby Portis again worked and we got a block out of it now everyone is ice cold ice cold and Zach Levine commits a shooting foul once again Boom, we make the first free throw, and the second one is up, we make the second one. 113 to 82, we've been doing our thing. Um, if you look at the video, oh my god. Like, you might be thinking to yourself, Raul, you have blocked that many times. Marco Fultz commits a shooting foul, I don't know how. And look how many people are in takeover now. We have one, two people who are in takeover. Actually, Zach Levine, bang, we have three people who are in takeover. I've never seen that before. One person activating his own takeover and then another man's takeover. That's absolutely nuts. So now... We just, Bobby Portis <laughs> commits yet another shooting foul, which is absolutely nuts. How many shooting fouls are you commit? Are you gonna commit, Bobby? A lot, Raul. A lot, Willie Bailey. I'm gonna commit a lot. Are you gonna get fouled out? No. <laughs> That's just me talking to myself, honestly. We block. Yet again, and this time, another takeover is activated. So we have four on this, we, over the course of what Willie Bailey has been doing, we have four takeovers being activated. That isn't normal. I've never seen that whatsoever. Whatsoever. I've never seen, I've never seen four takeovers. I've never seen four takeovers being activated. And if you want to tell me no, look at the video currently. And it's 135 to 94. And literally, three players are ice cold because they have been blocked a lot.
and body Bobby Portis is trying to score and then this dude Martin trains a three out of no man's land 135 to 97 and we actually cut forward to a little bit as you saw and we didn't make that shot with Willie Bailey oh my god well it doesn't matter <laughs> because yeah Owens tried to bank another three didn't work out um and then bam drive to the basket we did it we did a dunk two players are now ice cold or still ice cold one of them being bobby portis that's not good so i mean come on now bogdan bogdanovich tries to make shot we get the rebound 45 to 45 8 45 points actually 47 points 18 rebounds 14 assists and it's 139 to 97 a that's that's a big difference willie bailey for uh mac harvey actually gets the rebound taking it to the basket trying to take it to the basket Pushing some guys. I did not get the basket. I did not get my points. So now Bobby Portis is trying to do something. He's trying his best. I block a do. I block Morton. And I try to score again. Didn't work. So now we're. Both teams are scoreless. Martin now scores. <clears throat> it's now a 40 point differential and Derrick Rose has the ball. So now he's backing up. It's being at this point triple team. He turns over the ball. <clears throat> Martin scores one on one to one or thirty-nine. Yeah. Now Willie Bailey gets fouled. Now he has a bonus on him. Which means he scores the first free throw free throw that works one or forty. He scores the second one, one or forty one to one oh one. He's doing very well. He's doing very well. Owens. Bobby Portis. Is still ice cold. Yet I cannot make that shot. Um. Derek Rose. Obviously you no. Know. So anyways guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all are legends in my book as well as for me. I will see y'all in the conference finals. Peace.